Yes, boys. So this is top turns. Now we're back here in the quarantine zone. We got our masks on because we don't want defenders to get too sick and too nauseous from all the twists and all the turns we're gonna be throwing their way today. So without further ado, let's get into it. I play the game, yes, see. Life to the cards, not me. And they swear the space can't stop me. I'm coming home, just watch me. Top street, top feet, news can't shake the boss. I'm dripping like it's candy floss. It's all the rain, me take the loss of place. Yes, boys. So yet again, we are in a tight space. We're in a very limited area, but there's still plenty of drills and plenty of ball work that we can do to improve ourselves during this time. Now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about doing turns. Ideally, we have someone that we can use, but if you don't have anyone to use, I'm sure that you guys have a trash can around your house. I've got a plant pot, so meet my new defender. This, this plant Romero. Say hi to him. He's a pretty good defender. Tell you all about it. Latest football scores. Morning paper. Morning star. We'll use him as our defender, and we'll talk about some different drills, some different techniques that we can do while working on turns in a game with our back to goal or our back to a defender. Now, first tip, guys, as always, use your body to create space between you and the defender. So if you see here, I keep the ball away from my defender. I keep my foot towards him. You can even have your elbow up to create a little bit more leverage, a little bit more space, knees bent. Keep yourself at a good stability so you can't get knocked off the ball so that you're ready when the time comes to start doing your turns. Now to get warmed up with this, one of the simplest turns I like to do is a Mbappe chop. So if you guys see it here, it's like we're gonna go kick the ball and we chop it back this way. Chop it, chop it, chop it. Inside of the foot, right? Inside of the foot, chop. Inside of the foot, chop. And the beautiful thing about this is that it doesn't take a lot of space, but it's great for working on our control, our precision, and just confidence with the ball. The next variation that we're gonna throw in is just a simple little roll turn on the ball, right? Now you guys have seen this in a game. I think it's most effective when we're shielding the ball, we're shielding, and then we do a quick turn on our defender. So if you see it, shield, 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 turn. Now, quick pro tip on this. A lot of you guys will get it and you'll turn sideways, but that's perpendicular. That's not taking us anywhere. We want to turn it at an angle to already be taken off around the defender. So if you see how I do it, I take this plant foot and instead of rolling it sideways, I roll at an angle. And now I'm already past him and I'm gone. So at a game time speed, right? Turn and gone. If we see it on the other foot, okay? Turn and gone. A very simple turn, guys, but if you do it quickly, if you do it at enough pace, you can really surprise the defender and throw them off. All right, so another variation on this, guys, is a simple turn and pull back on the ball. So if you see it in slow motion, turn and kick it back. Now, we might have beat the defender a couple times with a roll turn, so he's looking for it. He's expecting it. And this is where we get a little tricky and we throw them off. So we come out and come this way. If you guys see it on the other foot, because always practice both feet. It's not just about being one-footed. That way you can turn any way, any situation in a game. Turn and back this way. See it again, turn, and we're back through. And I even like to put a little spin on the ball sometimes, a little inward spin to start me going around him. See this? Very simple, but very effective turn for creating more space for yourself in a game. All right, guys, another turn everyone loves is a very simple step over, right? Now in a game, it's all about how we throw the fake in the cell. You really want to act like you're going to explode at speed off into the direction that you're facing with the step over. So it goes like this. See this? It's all about the cell. If you guys just go 
with a step over like this and you're still standing up straight, you're just going through the motions, it's not gonna throw anybody off. It's all about the cell with it. When I step over, I step over at an angle so that I can turn and touch it around the defender, right? So think about where you're throwing the step over. If you throw it two sideways, you're stuck turning perpendicular, which isn't doing anything. The whole point of this is to turn and blow past the defender. So if we look at it, step over, turn, and I'm gone. And that, my friends, is a step over. Now there's two ways that you can hit it with a step over. You can turn and use this plant foot to touch it around, or you can step over and use the inside of the foot to touch it around as well. Kind of just depends on your angle of step over, what the defender's giving you at the time, and what you want to do with it. All right, guys, now this here is called a TikTok. Come on, boy. Let's go. Good boy. Now, pay close attention because this is definitely a trickier one. Now, I'm gonna talk you through how to train this first and then how to apply it in a game. So, everybody knows simple one, two step, yes? The whole point of this is to get used to doing a quick two step on the ball, right? Start the drill this way. One, two, easy. One, two, one, two. But here is where we start to mix it up because instead of doing one, two and going forward, we're gonna start doing one, two, and backwards. See this, I'm doing it in a tight space. Backwards, okay? Even faster. One, two, right? One, two. Okay, one, two. Now, time to be in a game situation. We have the defender on us. Normally, like I said, we keep the ball away from the defender, but this time we wanna bait him. So I will put the ball more inside facing the defender, showing him it, because I want him to commit and step. Because the second that he steps, one, two, and I'm gone. Very easy, right? We'll see it on this way. I'm protecting, defender steps, one, two, off into space. You see it a little bit faster now? Easy. It's one of my favorites to do. Defenders don't really expect it. Very quick one, two. Send yourself off into space, off on a goal, and leave him looking stupid. Yes, boys. So that was top turns for dealing with tight spaces. Now, as always, it's about practice, practice, practice. Just because you're at home doesn't mean you can sit on the couch all day, right? Instead of playing FIFA, let's go play some real life football. Get out there, work on these drills, repetition, repetition. It's how you get comfortable with the ball, how you build your confidence. So when it's time to go back out there and take the field, you're ready to ball. So if you guys liked today's video, if you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other moves you wanna see us do, or if there's other tips you guys wanna see while you're in quarantine. Follow our Instagram, check out our website. Oh. If you like the music you hear in the outro, be sure to check out more from yours truly. It's Knox Hill with Team Gola Remy, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out. Do Remy, Fasola, hit this Gola Remy, control all them boys from Kansas City with